next thing I want to do is, is just ask ask questions again. Uh, it goes back to Exeter University. Uh, just, just a couple of things which I'm, I'm interested in, can't, can't find out about. Uh, the St. Luke's campus used to have telematics as a, as a subject they were researching and offered courses about. And then it just sort of disappeared. And I think it, maybe it just became a, a, a sort of cancelled subject. At one point they decided not to have uh, chemistry and not to have music. Um, unbundling, I think, is the, the term for this, which uh, is quite an interesting idea in itself, but we'll, I'll come back to that another, another time. Um, but telematics was just unannounced. It just seemed to go away. And I, I don't think there's been research into online learning since then, not on any, not on any scale. And I, I, may, I, may be, I may be wrong about that, but... It's, it's something I've been unable to to find out anything. Um, Will seven eight nine GB on Twitter or W E N O T N O is is the Twitter feed I've got open at the at the moment in the in the studio. And the the other the other the other thing I can't find out about is the Exeter Education Innovation Institute, which I've put um, three YouTube clips up about based based on previous talks on on phonic fm and other other places um it was mentioned in the strategy document um but again i don't i don't think the strategy has much emphasis on moving online um and i can't find any mention since that was published which was last year i think there's 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 just there seems to be no no news about it at all and um I've, I just find that a bit disturbing because I imagine it would start with a new building that would take a while um, and actually there's a lot going on with, with um, I mean, I'm not saying that online is the only thing they would want to innovate around um, but it, uh, I'm not getting the impression that Exeter University is, is paying much attention to research anywhere else so until they've got that set up um, this idea that more buildings is is what's required is um, is going to continue and uh, I, I, I think actually Exeter City Council in maybe it's not the planning people maybe there's an economic or employment but I don't see why these things aren't connected um, Somebody should be asking the question: What, what, what is the the model for a campus or a residential? What's what sort? What does what is hybrid going to mean, or whatever they want to call it? Um, and actually, how much space is required? Because that that's that's the thing I'll come on to as drama, because that does seem to me to be an issue, and there's there's various ways of representing that. As, as some sort of discussion.